James Young. Um, so, Jesse, what kind of responsibilities are journalists from both China and the U.S. supposed to take during such pandemic time? Can we do better? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think, and a lot of news organizations have done this, where um, like New York Times or uh, other places where they removed the paywall for the, the content about coronavirus. Uh, which is, you know, um, they, they often do that during disasters or something like that, right? So that you don't have to have a subscription and you get all the up-to-date information that they're, they're doing um, about, about that. And, um, you know, not thinking about the bottom line, not thinking about making a profit and, and getting hits and, and things like that. You know, you, 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 you need to do that, but do that in other times. This is not the, this is not the place. Uh, to focus on your ratings, right? This is what Trump is talking about all the time about his ratings and his ratings are so wonderful. And it's like, and, and, you know, journalists aren't saying that, but the way a lot of people are reporting on it, it seems more like a, you know, being a bit, uh, you know, not that they're not taking it seriously, but taking it a lot more seriously than, than they are. Um, and, yeah, and just, I don't know, I don't, it's hard to say because, the, like I said, the, without having a lot of, uh, without having a lot of uh, medical knowledge, it becomes very difficult for journalists to dig much deeper, right? That's why, like, the example I gave of the, the journalists who are using big data, and they can get all these data sets of, of mortality rates and things like that and create something from that. But you need to have some kind of uh, basis of knowledge in, in something else before you can help uh, before you can use that to help create really good journalism. Yeah. Yes, but um, I agree, but it's not just about professionalism, right? Since we have seen the problems with professionalism in especially associated with journalism, it's also about the changing role, I guess. The question has to do with the changing role of journalism as well. Mm -hmm. When the politicians are speaking directly to the general public, right? right? which the conversation used to be mediated by professional journalists. Supposedly, yeah. we are going to make it more rational. We're going to make it, make the public discussion, right? More informed, rational, etc., to grow democracy. But right now, the situation, of course, has been almost completely overhauled because of the direct communication, almost direct communication between this um, public figures and their fan base or, you know, uh, mm. political base. So how do you see really in the future, what kind of role that journalism should play without this guarantee, right? The role guarantee as a mediator in between. Right, so like, like you know, people were saying, even if Trump stopped doing the coronavirus task force uh, news press conferences, he would still be tweeting out all of this misinformation all the time. And while had broadcasting it live on TV, like I said, broadcasting it live amplifies the message so much. Um, but he would still be tweeting about it. And then you have to think, are you just going to retweet what Trump said and then comment like, wow, would he's, so, he's, going really, he's getting really crazy today. Like, why is he tweeting this at 5 a.m.? Like, you know, you can, it, don't, again, like I said, don't amplify it. Don't. You know, if he's tweeting, it's the same thing. You have to fact check it. You can't, re you can't just repeat it. You can't just retweet it or just make a news story just out of the fact that he tweeted something. Uh, because then you're amplifying it and you're spreading it to audiences that maybe don't follow Trump on Twitter and audiences that don't follow people on, on their preferred uh, news network, right? So that's a, you know... That's a, and again, that's a big challenge for them, like we were talking about before, because the president says something, he, it's almost irresponsible. It's almost unprofessional not to cover it. But at the same time, it's very irresponsible to cover it when it can, it can cost people lives, right? Yeah. It's okay, like, for example, it's newsworthy to say, uh, you know, like Trump said, everybody should wear masks, but I'm not gonna wear a mask, okay that's notable but i don't know if that should be the headline the headline should be wear masks and then maybe the 10th paragraph you can say trump 
for some strange reason said that he wasn't going to wear a mask but that shouldn't be like the thing that leads the story that's not the message that we should get from that the message that people should get should be wear a mask and that's what the the, the journalist should be amplifying instead of you know taking a cheap shot at trump for doing something stupid right thank you yeah i think i think you're calling for a more progressive in my understanding right more progressive role that media should play perhaps in this intensified conversation yeah.